Hello everyone, welcome to problem 2.13 of David Griffith's Electrodynamics. Let's jump right in. All right, so let me just pull it up. So 2.13 asks us to find the electric field a distance S from an infinitely long straight wire that carries a uniform line charge of lambda. So I've drawn a uniform line charge of, uh, here uh, that's infinitely long, so I've put arrows at the end to indicate that the line of charge continues in both directions. And I've denoted that the charge density on the wire is lambda, so it has a uniform charge density. And I've just picked some arbitrary point along the wire to, uh, to kind of put like a axis here. And so we're going to use Gauss's law to find the electric field due to this uh, wire, which we've already done this problem actually before. However, we did this um, using just straight direct integration. And you'll see with Gauss's law, it becomes a very, very simple problem. So our Gaussian surface in this case, to take advantage of the cylindrical symmetry, I've chosen to just um, surround a section of this wire. And we'll just say that this section of the wire has the length of L with our Gaussian surface. And our Gaussian surface has a cylindrical uh, radius here of S. So that's just the distance from the axis of symmetry here along the cylinder. And yeah, so we can just go ahead and just directly apply Gauss's law to this. So we have that the, uh, the flux through our Gaussian surface, E dot dA, is equal to the charge enclosed of our Gaussian surface divided by epsilon naught. So let's evaluate this left side. So the flux um, through our surface. So what parts of our surface uh, have, have flux passing through it? So the ends here, um, if you could see this other end, uh, since the, the, the electric field we know is sort of po pointing radially away at, at all points out uh, protruding away from the wire, um, there should be no flux um, passing through either end of the cylinder since those two surfaces are perpendicular to the wire itself or, or a parallel facing uh, towards the wire. So there's no electric field lines going through uh, the end surfaces. And so the only surfaces um, or the only surface that has flux passing through it is the, is the cylindrical uh, surface area of the rest of the cylinder here. And, at, and since the entire surface here is a radius S away from the wire, then the electric field along the entire uh, cylindrical surface should be constant. And therefore, we can pull it out of our integral. So we just have the magnitude of E there. And then we just integrate over the surface area of, you know, of where the flux is passing through, which is um, just the surface area of the cylinder excluding the, the two end faces, which would just be the circumference of one of the ends times the length of the entire cylinder. And that would give you the total surface area. So it'd be two pi s, which is the circumference, times the length would give you the surface area of the soda can uh, here, excluding the top and bottom of the soda can, essentially. And this is equal to the total charge enclosed, well, we know that this section, that the whole wire has a uniform line charge density of lambda, and so that's charge per unit length. So we just multiply by that by the length enclosed inside of our Gaussian surface, which is L. So that's lambda L, that's the total charge enclosed, divided by epsilon naught. And that gives us that the electric field, the, the magnitude, is equal to lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught S. And the direction, since this uh, is in cylindrical coordinates, essentially, um, we can just say that this is in the S hat direction or uh, in, the, in the, you know, face, uh, in the direction uh, away from the axis of symmetry of the uh, cylinder. If you're not familiar with cylindrical coordinates, just uh, look them up and get some familiarity with that. And I think this will make sense why we say it's in the S hat direction. All right, so this is our answer. Pretty straight and uh, straightforward and simple. 
doesn't take long at all. Gauss's law makes uh, taking advantage of these cylindrical or of these symmetric situations um, very easy. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, um, feel free to leave me a like. And if you have any suggestions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.